Hello everyone. Today we will be looking at how to generate multiple plans based on the selected rooms and apply a view template to them. Let's get started. For this script, we would need to download two extra packages. First one is Archilab, one of the most used packages for Dynamo. However, due to the changes in Revit 2023, we need to download a second package named Dynamo Iron Python, which allows us to use Archilab nodes fully. In Revit 2022 and earlier versions, you would only need to download Archilab. To download them, go to the top of Dynamo interface, click on Packages, and then select Search for Package. In the new window, type down Archilab and press Install. It should take a couple of seconds until the package is successfully installed. For the second package, type down Dynamo Iron Python and click Install as well. Now we can start and define our main nodes. Right click and type down floorplan.byroom, then right click again and type down views.setViewTemplate. After defining the main nodes, we can start building our script. Let's search for select model elements by category, as we want to select and use rooms only. Now search for a string, which would be our prefix for the newly created plants' names. Right-click and type integer slider, which we would use to control the crop view boundary offset around our new plants. Also search for the boolean and keep it as it is for now. Now connect the output of for plan.byroom to the set view template and search for view templates and connect it with set view template node as well. Specify the rooms category in the select model elements and get to one of your Revit plans with visible rooms. In this example, I use the level 1 floor plan from the sample file. Click Select in the Select Model Elements node and choose the rooms for which you want to create new plans. Then click Finish in the top left corner of the Revit interface. Now type down the prefix which you want to have for your new plans. Specify the integer slider to be from 0 to 10, keep it at 1 for now, and switch boolean to true. Now we need to select or create a view template that we would apply for the new plans. For this example, I would duplicate the existing architecture plan template and name it Ori Plan Template to make it easy to find. and you don't need to keep a new template applied to any new views. If we go back to Dynamo and click on the drop-down in View Templates, we can find all available view templates in the project. Choose the newly created. And all done now. If you press Run, you can find all newly created plans with a specified prefix, its room name and number. In case if you want to change the crop view boundary, you can do that by changing the number value in integer slider. You would see that all plant boundaries would update. I hope you like this video and see you next time. Thank you.